Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we are going to take a look at section 3.2 in our book by Gilbert Strang. And this is a section on the null space of A. So here we go. We're going to take a look at the, the null space, the null space of A. And what does that mean? Well, we're going to find out. So here we go. Uh, that seems like a good place to start is what is the null space? Well, the null space is the ideas of something we've been tap dancing around, but now we're just going to tackle. So here it is. The null space of A. Null space, and we'll be even add more specifics. The null space of the matrix A, of the matrix A. is the set of all vectors. All, actually, you know what? Instead of the word set, let's make it this, is the space, is the space of all, of all vectors of all vectors x that satisfy a times x equals 0. And that's the 0 vector. And obviously, 0 would satisfy that. So I'm even going to just put that in there, because sometimes we forget. Uh, and the null space also includes the 0 vector. Sure, quick. So we've got the zero in both of those. Now, what I'd like to do is first, let's work, work with an example so we can get an idea of what we're doing. And then we're actually going to prove that the null space of A, and maybe just for, just let's just be really clear. It's not just a space, it's the vector space. You're like, really? A solution is a vector space? We're going to see. Yes, it is. So here we go. Um, and let's begin with it. So let's consider consider the matrix A. And how about this? How about 1, 2, 1, 1, and 2, 3. There's the matrix A. And so what we want to do is I want to take a look at this. And let's look at this. So we want to see what vectors satisfy. So 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Now notice this. x, in this case, has to have three elements. There's an x1, x2, x3, or we could have used x, y, z, equals 0. Now, let's take a look. This is actually, this problem is set up, set up, so that we can look at it and see. Well, let's see what x's might satisfy. So let's write x equals, oh, look at this. Notice that if I take the first column plus the second column, that equals the third column. So I could get to 0. I could just get to 0 if I add the first two and then subtract the third one. So let's do that. So I need one of the first ones, one of the second columns, and then I'm going to subtract the third column. And that that would give me 0. There, we solved it, but we're not done. What we want to do now is let's look at and see if there's another way we could have done that. So I'm going to write that out. Let's see what, remember what that means. It says that x1 times the vector of 1, 2, plus the vector x2 times, I'm sorry, the scalar x2 times the vector 1, 1, plus scalar x3, times 2, 3, and this has to add up to the vector of all zeros, 0, 0. Well, we already said that if I put one of the first ones and one of the second ones, and then I subtract the third one, that would work. So that was one possible x. We'll write it like that. But let's see, can we do that again? What if, what if we do this? Oh. What if I change the signs, for example? Say maybe I just, what if I started by making the first one negative and then the second one negative? 
Well, then all I would have to do is just add the third vector. So, oops, let me space those out so you can see, right, look up above. So then I'd subtract one from the first vector. Let's subtract one of the second vector, and then I could add one of the third vector. That's another possible x. Hmm, are there others? Oh, I, I have an idea. Uh, you know, how many others are there? I'm curious now. Oh, what about this? What if I was to wonder, if I was just to multiply so by a scalar, is some scalar c times x a solution? Well, I've got two x's here. I'm going to work with the first one. So I'm going to call them x1 and maybe x2. So is cx1 a solution? Question mark. Well, let's try that. So that would mean that really my solution would look like um, would look like this. So c times x1, that would mean that I have c times the vector 1, 1. Plus, I would have uh, c, because it's just I'll put 1c, plus 1c times, oops, 1, 2, plus 1 times c times 1, 1 minus c times 2, 3. Well, notice that you could factor out a c. c times, this is 1 times 1, 2, plus 1 times 1, 1, minus 1 times 2, 3. But we already said that that's a solution. So then that just gives me, that just gives me, those add to the zero vector. But that c times the zero vector, that's just still zero, zero. So wait a minute, wait a minute. That means, that means that it's not just a vector, it's an infinite number of vectors. Any single scalar times x works. So I'm gonna write my solution now a little bit differently. So notice what we said, we said, I'm going to write the general solution. So this is the general solution to this to this matrix A. So the, the general solution the general solution is notice that what we had we had x equals c times x1. That was the first x that we found. I should put an x1 over here too. Well, what we do is these solutions, these are special solutions, because it's just a multiple of that that gives you all possible x. So what we usually do, or our, our book does, is we say that it's just a scalar c, and instead of x1, we write s1, where s1 is actually the x1. And s1 stands for special solution special solution. There, and, and our last bit now is this. I'm gonna get some more screen, is we would say, and I didn't write this earlier, we would say that the null space, and we use, we denote it by capital N parenthesis of A. So the null space of A, that's, that's red, null space of A, The null space of A is a line in, and since there's how many components to our x? There's three. So that's in R3, is a line in R3 described by, described by x equals C, any scalar times S1, and our solution was 1, 1, minus 1. And if you decided to write minus 1, minus 1, 1 for your S1, that would be okay too, because they're just multiples, and they're just on the same line. All right, that is the idea of the null space, and in this next video, we're going to prove the null space of A is actually a vector space. Thanks for watching.